Welcome to 25 Days of Dax Fridays edition 3, day 5. Let's get started. Okay, day 5. Average price of discontinued products. Let's build a table first. Again, the most difficult part is always understanding the question. So first we put product ID, we put product name. The product is just discontinued products. So we need to filter by discontinued. So now we have the list of discontinued products. We need to know what the average price is. So if we go and put order ID and the unit price, you're going to see that obviously, as in life, you know, the price changes for the product. Sometimes it's cheaper, sometimes it's more expensive. And we need to have the average price for all products, right? So if we take away the order ID, it will be the average price of these amounts. Wait, 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 wait. Unit price should be average. Yeah, so this is the average price per product, and then we need to have for all products. So this should be, it's not going to be 37 because, you know, grand totals wrong. So yeah, we will get the right number using DAX. Okay, so let's go to the DAX query and try to figure out how to create that. As I mentioned before, it's the same pattern as we've used before. So summarized, and then we're going to have the products table. But the products tables, we don't want to have the entire product tables. We just want to have the discontinued products. So here, I'm actually going to introduce a filter. And the filter is going to be what well, product discontinue equal true. So the table that is going to be fed to summarize now is going to be only for discontinued products. And then we're going to have the product ID and the product name. And once we have that, we're going to calculate the average unit price, which is going to be the average unit price. Close everything, run. Right, and what we need to do now is to calculate the average of the unit price column. So we're going to copy these. I'm going to go to D5. And then I am going to do the average of the table that we just created. And then the average is going to be the average of unit price. We put it in there and we get 44.35. So I'll see you again on day six.